hey, we're on a barbecue crawl to the City of Angels, downtown Los Angeles, to a place known as Moose Craft Barbecue. Stick around. Welcome to Greenhorn Barbecue and Beer. If you're new here, my name is Todd. I'm Sassy. And this is the channel where backyard cooking is king. We take you on barbecue crawls to some really interesting locations and we serve up some excellent barbecue recipes for you to try out. We also want you to tell us all about your travels and barbecue recipes in the comments down below. So word around Los Angeles is that Andrew and Michelle have been cooking up some excellent Texas style barbecue. Uh, they have twin 500 gallon smokers from what I understand on a trailer. Uh, they've been serving up some delicious barbecue in East LA and downtown area for a number of years now. Uh, in barbecue circles around Southern California, they're very highly regarded. Uh, I've, I've read that the only reason they're not in the top 10 barbecue joints across America is they're not from Texas, but that might change soon. Um, so we have to drive about an hour to get there from, from where we live. Uh, we think the drive is gonna be worth it. Gotta love the Los Angeles traffic. <laughs> Don't miss it. I don't know where they think they're going. I hope they're not going to barbecue. <laughs> Made it to Moose Craft Barbecue. Uh, there's a bit of a line here. That's okay, because uh, good barbecue, you got to be willing to wait for it. All right, so that and uh, get ready to place my order. Hi. Right. Hi. Can I get for you? I would like a pound of brisket from the the good stuff from the point. Yep. Okay. I'd like a pound of the pastrami beef ribs. I'd like one of those uh, jalapeno cheddar sausages. We want a side of mac and cheese, a side of the uh, brisket chili beans, okay. and the pork verde sausage. Okay, so you want a jalapeno cheddar and a pork verde? Yes. Yeah. God, those look amazing. Okay, so they're out of beef ribs, but they got some pastrami beef ribs, and so we're going to give those a shot. Oh, I was looking at the wrong thing. Ooh. Nice. <laughs> hey, don't be looking at my sausage. I know. I'm like, <laughs> that's a beautiful looking room. All right, here we go. 
to go? Right there. Oh, you may have to take another right. picture. Yeah, I need one of those yeah, on my plate. Oh, no, 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 go ahead and grab um, oh. can you, Are you ready to grab that? Sure. Yeah, sure, that's I'll grab it. Too. Okay. Oh, right. beautiful, so, thank you. Right here, real quick. So that's a, the rib and the mac and cheese. He can pay and then we'll gonna you. We're gonna need a All beef right. rib, honey. Are you doing anything else? We'll right right I'll be right back. Yeah. All right, here we go. Going in for this jalapeno cheddar sausage. All right, so I went with the brisket. This might have to be a voiceover. Mmm. Mmm. Good stuff. Mmm. 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 And try some macaroni and cheese. Mmm. Like this brisket chili here. Mm. Oh man, that brisket chili is good, babe. All right, Thank right you. off the bat, the, uh, the the brisket. Whatever they're doing with the brisket, they're doing it just right. Uh, it tastes really good. It's got a I'm nice. Sorry, uh, no, it's okay. I'm dying. You can really taste that that uh, smoke. It doesn't have too many spices, so that salt and pepper is all it needs. And, Tastes like that's all they use. The chili's delicious. It's got a really good bark. Uh, just tastes really good. It's got it's got just the right amount of uh, smoke flavor. The macaroni and cheese. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's it's really good. The macaroni and cheese is awesome. There's the macaroni and cheese. <laughs> mm, brisket chili. Now your impressions. What do you think? Mmm. Wow. Well, I'm loving these sausages. Right here we've got a, a pork verde sausage, it's delicious. And then we've got um, another sausage with uh, cheddar and jalapeno, absolutely delicious. The brisket is, is right on. I haven't mm -hmm. tasted my dino rib yet. Hold up one of them, uh, what kind of ribs you got there? Beef ribs, Hold, check out. Let's check it out. Check it out. See yourself on the monitor there. All right, so they, uh, on the, the menu board, it said they, they were out of beef ribs or they had it covered up, but they actually do have beef ribs. So we were lucky we, uh, we got some. All right. I'm going to try one. Mm. So the bark is awesome. Tasty. I like the bark, it definitely protects the meat when you cook it. But I tend to go for the, the fatty inside. Mm. <laughs> tastes great. I'm not sure what they spritz with. It tastes like it could either be uh, uh, apple cider vinegar or water spritz, or maybe a mixture. But Andrew said uh, after we eat, we're gonna get it. It could be their secret too. So, so Andrew said after we eat, we're gonna get a tour of their smokers. So we're gonna eat, ah! and then we'll go back to you. So, something I've never seen before, and that's not hard to do, but a pastrami beef rib. I've never seen a pastrami beef rib before. Well, that's what one looks like. There's that brisket. So the brisket, the fat, and the connective tissues are rendered down perfectly, and that salt and pepper does it just right. This is as close as you could possibly come in Los Angeles to uh, real Central Texas style barbecue. Well, honey, Los Angeles is full of great. Los Angeles is full of great chefs, near and far. So hey, we know how to cook out here in California too. Very nice, very cordial, cordial people. Can't wait to take a little tour of their smoker and see what they got set up out there. But the food is delicious. The ribs are point on, they're juicy, they're tender, they're so tasty. Everything is really good. Beef jalapeno cheddar sausage. I'm gonna give it a try. Mm. 
Yeah, that's good. <laughs> Come on, honey. So we just had their uh, barbecue and let me tell you, Andrew and Michelle here knocked it out of the park. But anyway, so Andrew here is going to uh, give us a chance to give us a, a little tour of his smoker. So tell, tell us yeah. about Moosecraft. Uh, so really Moosecraft was just a, a hobby thing that turned into um, kind of full scale weekend operation with catering. Uh, we're at downtown LA at the Row at Smorgasburg every Sunday from 10 to 4. And then on top of that, we'll do brewery pop ups, catering here and there. Uh, but yeah, it's a full time job. Uh, right now, we have sausage on the smoker. Check right the barbecue for those who are interested in knowing. All right. That's, that's some beautiful stuff right there, Andrew. Yeah, okay, so what, uh, point out the different kinds of. So, right here, we have a uh, beef jalapeno cheddar. Uh, which is a very traditional sausage nowadays. And then on the left hand side we have our own creation which is a, uh, a fire roasted pork verde sausage with roasted bovano peppers and uh, pepper jack cheese. Yeah, well, those right. were slamming. Oh, thank you. Yeah, those and were uh, so the smokers are two traditional offset smokers, insulated fire boxes. They come from uh, Fort Worth, Texas. Uh, my buddy Butch. Uh, from Cucaracho Smokers built these for us. So uh, we've had them coming up on a year next month and they're absolutely perfect. Uh, you heard that you guys are gonna uh, move into a brick and mortar. Uh, well, that's the goal. We don't have one yet, but we've been looking. So um, okay. hopefully 2020 goal. Okay. Yeah, that's the next short term goal is trying to find a space that works for us. I mean, we've seen a bunch of spaces today, but nothing that really is right. like, that feels right yet. So right. yeah, so like once one feels right. Oh, thank you. <laughs> we've been here since January of this year. And prior to that, we had done their like one-off special of like barbecue day. Uh, we've done it three years running now, and so like this year we decided to jump on full time, and we're here every weekend now. Tell yeah. us how you do your brisket. Uh, salt, pepper, uh, you know, a little bit of mustard to baste it, and then uh -huh. smoke it low and slow. Okay. Not really that low, but you know, like 250 to 275 range. 275. For you know anywhere between 10. Mm -hmm. To 16 hours, you know, they're all different. Some will come off a little earlier, but it's all about the, the feel. Yeah, it's all about feel, okay. bark, color. You know, right. once you know it's right, we're using uh, oak wood. Oak wood? Mm -hmm. All right, I'll get white a little oak. B roll. White oak. Yeah. So, California white oak, or do you get in, uh, from... Yeah, it's from California. It's up in the, the mountains. Okay, yeah. up in the mountains. Pastrami beef is it's just a beef rib. We brine it um, in okay. a, to make a pastrami. All right. Pretty straightforward. A uh, little. Uh, Coarse pepper, coriander seed on top. Okay. And you know, smoke them just like a traditional beef rib, but it gives you a different, completely different flavor profile. It's awesome. Yeah. Okay. That's awesome. The flavor profile was excellent, and I thought that the texture was completely different, but oh man. Oh, thank it was you. It's a treat. It was yeah. A treat. I've been working on them for a while. I just hadn't done them for an event, so we've done them two times. It's a little bit more of a process than just everything else. It's not as straightforward. So we don't do them all the time, but you know, maybe once a month we'll do it. Yeah, it's yeah. nice. Okay. You guys are out here every Saturday and Sunday? Every Sunday. Oh, just every yeah, Sunday? Yeah, 10 to 4. Okay, so I heard that you were in the insurance business and you went yeah. to Houston? Uh, so Dallas? I was uh, commercial insurance for about 14 uh -huh. years, I think it was. Okay. And I used to be in Dallas. I used to be in Texas, mm -hmm. uh, specifically Dallas. Mm -hmm. uh, for, you know, maybe twice a quarter. And uh, so I ventured out, tried some barbecue, was hooked, came back, uh -huh. started tinkering with the small Weber, uh -huh. then a drum, then a small offset, then a cool. larger offset, and now I have a couple of these, so. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's awesome, it's a beautiful smoker. Any plans on expanding uh, the different uh, kind of smokers here? No, I think if we get more, it's just gonna be a larger version of this, but okay. um, I, this is more than enough right now. We have another 500 mm -hmm. for larger jobs when we need okay. to run all three, but. Uh, maybe in the future I'll keep this as my road pit and then have like a, like a couple of 1000s or something in a restaurant okay. if we can get that awesome. we can get that done. Okay. Well, we really appreciate the, uh, yeah, the barbecue, Andrew. It was some awesome stuff. And we need to meet your better half here. 
This is Michelle Munoz. Hi everyone, nice to meet you. Well, tell us about what's your part of this business, uh, besides being the uh, better half of Andrew here. Besides being the boss, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> the boss, we know um, who the real boss is. You know, the real boss The boss right lady. I, I'm just here to support him. I mean, we do this together, it's a family business. Um, okay. I'm just the boss lady. <laughs> we heard that one, uh, some of the particular dishes are, are yours. So Which I do, dishes are yours? I, this, one of the sausages is mine, um, what's well, ours, but it was created from my childhood. So it, it's kind of like a, a representation of a chile relleno because it's made with fire roasted poblano peppers, herbs, spices, and it's stuffed with cheese. Very similar that's to a chile relleno. That's the one I had. It was, it was and delicious. And that's pork. And then I make all the sides um, and our sauces and our pickling. And uh, yeah, I take care of all the social media. So, yeah. so she's the brains behind the... Pretty much. <laughs> Us women have to stick together because we're all boss ladies. That's right. Okay. Our Instagram is at moosecraftbarbecue.com. I'm sorry, Moosecraft Barbecue, and our website is www.moosecraftbarbecue.com. Awesome. Give us a follow. All we right. will. And we'll, I think I we're going to hit up uh, those links in our description. You guys, be sure to check out Moosecraft Barbecue here at Smorgasburg, LA, 10 to 4? 10 to 4 p.m. every Sunday. 10 to 4 p.m. every Sunday. Uh, it's worth the wait. Actually, we didn't wait very long. Because we got here right when you opened. You did. Uh, you came at a perfect time. About 15 minutes. It's probably the most. I mean, there's not You a got deal, really though. lucky today. Yeah. And plate of the day. There you go. Ian, you got the special. We got the special plate of the day. Woohoo. Yeah, we did. Nice so, to meet you guys. So we'll post Thank pictures. You so very much.